Hi, I'm Jason Levine, Principal Worldwide Evangelist for Adobe's Video and Audio Tools. And using control services as part of your audio workflow is a very common practice today, and I'm extremely happy to tell you that in Audition CS6, we now have support for a variety of different control services. So if we go up to the Audition menu and go under Preferences, here's where you can actually choose the type of control surface that you'll be working with. So if you look here, you'll see that we support not only Yukon, but Mackie and even Red Rover. So for those of you using our old school device known as the Red Rover, we actually put this out in the Centrillium days, you can still use your Red Rover hardware controller to control Adobe Audition CS6. Now in this case, I actually happen to have a Euphonics controller here. So in that case, I'll be using the Yukon protocol. And all the setup is actually done on the Euphonics device. Now different devices will have you set them up differently. Mackies you can actually configure right within the software here. But for Yukon devices, you're going to do that on the device itself. Then all you need to do is select Yukon, click OK. And now if I go to my transport controls, I can hit play and everything starts playing. I can stop, I can use the jog wheel to wind back, and I can of course automate my fader. So if I go over to my mixer here, just to kind of showcase this, if I grab something like fader two, and if you look at fader two in the mixer panel here, these are now moving in tandem. Ooh. Yeah, that is still kind of fun, even if you've seen it before, because it really does work very, very fluidly. Now, the other cool thing that you can do here, of course, is that you can actually automate and write mix changes, which will then be recorded into Audition's automation lanes. So to do something like that, I can go ahead to my first track here. Let's go ahead and put this into write mode, hit play on my transports, and I'm just going to ride this fader up and down. Okay, so now when I click back to the editor and I expand track one and I twirl down underneath where it says touch, you can now see that we're actually looking at the keyframes of the changes that we made to the volume of that track, automating it with the external controller. And taking that a step further, let me twirl this up. You can see that as we move forward here, you can see we've got some additional volume changes. Even as I scrub through these, the faders are actually moving. They're, re they're respecting the keyframes that have already been set in the automation lanes and playing those back as I play back the session. So again, lots of flexibility using multiple protocols just to allow you to mix that much more efficiently and have that much more fun doing it in Adobe Audition CS6.